Novak Djokovic is undoubtedly one of the best tennis players in history, if not the best. Still, his career, especially during the last few years, has been plagued by controversy and he never received the kind of love and respect that Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer have enjoyed, despite his enormous success. While almost no public figure in the spotlight has been able to avoid controversy, Djokovic and his family have been very prone to it. But that's not the only reason why Novak is not as loved as Federer and Nadal. There is much more to it. If you want to find out, just stay tuned. Before we get started, and before you guys go off in the comments, I'm not trying to say that Novak doesn't have a lot of fans, because that simply would not be true. Djokovic has a huge and wide fan base worldwide, and is a national hero in Serbia. However, he has not been as respected and loved throughout his career as some of his peers. It's hard to say in how many of his 32 Grand Slam finals the crowd really got behind him. That number gets smaller when you consider matches played against Federer and Nadal. It is a fact that Djokovic never received the same treatment as the other two, and he was in the eye of the storm much more often than they were as well. In this video, we will analyze all the reasons behind that on and off the court. Let's begin, of course, at the beginning. Novak Djokovic burst onto the tennis world's front pages in 2007, when he won his first Masters 1000 tournaments, reached the final of the US Open, and the number three in the world ranking. At that time, the circuit was dominated by Roger Federer, who was in his prime and was considered something close to a tennis god. No opponent could stand up to him but one, Rafael Nadal. The Spaniard and the Swiss were already protagonists of a unique rivalry that divided the tennis world between those in love with Federer's style and talent versus those in favor of Nadal's passion and grit. In this scenario, Djokovic's eruption was like a third wheel, a third party in contention. In the first instance, Novak won the affection of many fans due to his funny nature, hilarious impersonations and good humor. But at the same time, during that period, Djokovic earned his first criticism for allegedly faking injuries and medical problems, to take medical timeouts in order to cool off matches or rest when he needed to. Yet, during these early years, Djokovic was not a constant and regular threat against the aspirations of Federer and Nadal. In 2008, he won the Australian Open, but he was still far from reaching the Swiss and the Spaniards level. Then, 2011 came along. Djokovic's long-awaited explosion came in 2011. In that year, the Serb completed one of the best seasons in history, winning three Grand Slams and five Masters 1000s, achieving the number one ranking for the first time, and dominating Nadal and Federer 10-1 in their matches. However, that's not all Djokovic achieved that year. He also managed to break the hegemony of Federer and Nadal. From that moment on, he entered his prime and became the most dominant player on the circuit. The rest is history, right? Well, all of this, of course, did not go down well with Federer and Nadal fans. Djokovic was a constant threat to the other members of the Big Three, but at the same time, he was also constantly blocking matches of one of the most celebrated, publicized, and anticipated rivalries in tennis history. Many argue that Djokovic's playing style was not as attractive or engaging as that of Federer and Nadal. While almost no player in history can match the elegance of Federer's game or the die-hard attitude and ferocity of Nadal's, Djokovic was often compared to a robot for his sober, defensive, but hugely effective style. As unfair as it may sound, Djokovic's incredible success and enormous dominance made him something of a villain, a public enemy in the tennis world. Although Novak refused to play the role, that other tennis players like McEnroe had previously accepted, some of his on-court attitudes have not helped his popularity with fans either. Some of the gestures and grimaces the Serb makes during matches are perceived as impolite by tennis fans, especially compared to Federer's elegance and Nadal's sportsmanship. Djokovic tends to be very verbal, laughs ironically, and even gets into fits of anger. Djokovic. Destroying rackets way more frequently than the Swiss or the Spaniard. So much so that his anger on the court has led him to star in one of the most memorable incidents of recent times, his disqualification in the fourth round of the 2020 US Open after hitting a lineswoman with a ball. Although the hit was an accidental, the ball was thrown due to the Serbs' frustration with his own performance. This incident created a lot of backlash against him. While all this is true, Novak Djokovic is at the same time one of the most respectful players on the circuit and one of the most classy, sincere and congratulatory in defeat. He has proved over and over to have great sportsmanship. This can be appreciated in the respect and affection many of his colleagues have for him. Besides, Djokovic is always friendly with people at different tournaments and with fans around the world. Regardless of how everyone feels about him, Djokovic has proven that on court, he is most of the time a class act. So why doesn't he receive the love and recognition he deserves? Well, let's get off the court and analyze that aspect. Beyond recent controversy, in his private life, Noel has also proven to be a class act on more than one occasion. And dream big because you can make it. 
both he and his wife and childhood sweetheart, Yelena Djokovic, have received several awards for the humanitarian work of their charity society. At the same time, Djokovic has shown his fun side off the court in various TV shows and advertisements, always showing a carefree, fun, and cheerful version of himself. Despite all this, Djokovic is still controversial and disliked by many figures today. In addition to the usual tennis fans, Noel has received criticism from other public figures and journalists around the world. These criticisms are mainly due to two things, some statements from his family, and most importantly, his posture regarding the pandemic and the consequent vaccination. The story of the Djokovic family is truly one of overcoming. Djokovic and his siblings grew up in the midst of the Yugoslav wars, hearing the attacks from their bedroom and with their lives literally at risk. Luckily, the family managed to overcome this and Novak made it to the top of the world, at least tennis-wise. However, this success has been overshadowed time and time again by the behavior of some of the family members. While Yelena and his siblings have kept a low and uncontroversial profile, the same cannot be said about Novak's parents. Both his mother Dijana and his father Sujan have expressed themselves on more than one occasion, generating controversy either to defend or praise their son. Perhaps the best known altercation and the one that has generated the most disgust in the tennis world was the long feud between Sergeant Djokovic and none other than Roger Federer. It all started in 2006 when the Swiss criticized the young Novak for demanding medical treatment excessively. The problem worsened in 2008 when Federer told Djokovic's family to keep quiet during a match Be quiet. between the pair at a Monte Carlo Masters. These situations ignited the wrath of the Djokovic family patriarch who never forgave Federer. Even in 2021, Surgeon was still upset over the first incident and he stated then, about 15 years ago, Federer attacked my son when he was still young. He was 18 or 19 years old. I knew someone would be there who would be better than him. So I said he was a great champion, the best at the time. But as much as he is a great champion, Federer is not such a good man. During all these years, Novak's father has taken every opportunity to attack Federer, even urging him to retire on more than one occasion. I'm not a specialist, but constantly attacking and criticizing the most universally loved tennis player doesn't sound like a great PR strategy. Likewise, both of Noel's parents have championed and upheld their son as the best player in history, while Roger and Rafa's families take a more modest and respectful approach to the GOAT debate. Djokovic's parents have described him as the best, even going so far as to declare that their own son only loses matches when he allows his opponents to outplay him. Again, not a great PR strategy. Novak Djokovic has undoubtedly been a controversial figure throughout his career. Whether it is the unfair criticism and villainization from fans or his and his family's own actions, Djokovic has not consistently received the love and respect that Federer and Nadal have. However, during his first match at the 2023 Australian Open, Djokovic received as big an ovation as his incredible career deserves. Regardless of how everyone feels about him and what will happen in the years to come, there is no doubt that Novak Djokovic will be remembered as one of the best tennis players ever, if not the best.